Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dale, and I am back from vacation finally. Um, it's been since it's been a week and like two days. Left left last Friday, which was the thirteenth. Yeah, thirteenth. I left thirteenth that night, and it's the twenty second. So it's been a week and a couple days. Um, and this is about what I said it was when I made the last video. I said it was probably going to be the twenty second, which was Sunday. And today is Sunday. I came back this morning, and um, it's the afternoon now, and I'm making a video. For you guys because i have to catch up on some stuff especially on castle clash um new update came out on this um there's a couple other games that came out with updates too um jungle heap had a couple bug fixes with the heroes and stuff i guess and then some other games so um starting off castle clash first because um the update's pretty cool um they finally added in a way to test your defenses kind of i guess you could say um by testing with the computers so if you click on this portal over here um it comes up with this thing and uh, i'm sure you guys will i'm sure all of you guys know this by now because it's been a few days since it's been out it's been like three or four days since it's um, been released but yeah you can basically test your your skills on um these waves or whatever and it goes a through j and i've only made it to c because c it gets pretty hard especially with my defenses um i can finally start upgrading my walls now um, if you guys didn't know, I didn't haven't been upgrading my walls because I didn't want to raise my might too much. And now that it doesn't really count toward your might, it does not count toward your might. Um, I've been get, beginning to upgrade my walls here. Um, and uh, so I've been doing that, and I'm actually just upgrading the outside skirts uh, parts first. And uh, once I get the outsides in, then I'll upgrade the inner walls too. Um, but I'm just gonna upgrade them to level eight for now, and then once they're all level eight. Then I'll go from 9 and then to 10. Um, but it's not that bad. It doesn't take too long to upgrade these walls, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so anyways, we're going to get into this. Uh, the new thing is called Here Be Monsters. And um, some of these people, I was looking at some of these people. There's no way that these people have gotten to I4 and I1 or whatever. Um, because they're hackers. Because if you look at their base, there's like no way. Uh, there's no way. I mean, unless their heroes are like 180 and... Their level heroes are 180, but still, there's like no way. Um, this guy, maybe. No, that's this guy. Yeah, so anyways, anyways, um, some hackers, probably just some people hacking. Um, I got attacked like 13 times. I haven't checked my base in, um, over 24 hours because of the drive back. So I haven't been, um, being able to check it, but I did, um... I've been, I did bring my tablet with, so I was able to, I'm not going to watch that, because I want to talk, talk to you guys about the hero thing, hero thing, um, but yeah, so anyways, um, I brought my tablet with, so I was still able to check on my base and stuff, and, um, I've been buying 230 gems, like if you guys didn't know, um, I've been buying 230 gems every day for two bucks to get the 30 shards, but I really don't need to do that anymore, because of this new, this new thing here, um, and so yeah, I've been doing that, and I've gotten a lot of repeats on um, <laughs> um, on legendary heroes. I have a lot of repeats on legendaries here. I have two druids, I have two thunder gods, um, I have two champions, two paladins, two ninjas. Um, the only one I don't have double of is a uh, succubus. So I have doubles of every single kind of hero, pretty much, except for the um, Atlantor. Um, at least the ones where you can um, uh, buy with the. Uh, Gems. I have doubles on all these guys except for Cycle Bus and um, Atlantic Corp. Obviously, that guy's pretty hard to get. I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get that guy, but um, even getting um, doing with this with this new mode, though, I might be able to get Atlantic Corp um, a lot more quickly, um, especially if I keep up to, up to this. Um, but yeah, so anyways, you can basically go in here and you test out your defenses with these waves and each one has five so it goes a1 through a5 b1 through b5 and it gets harder and harder obviously um then you get um you get various uh, amounts of rewards so you get like mana gold um xp for your heroes and um shards if you beat the very if you get through all five waves you get shards at the end um b5 um b is 15 i know um i don't think i've gotten through c yet so i'm not sure and a i forgot i think it was 10 or it could have been five. Um, but yeah, no B it was 15 shards if you beat it. Um, and then C I haven't beaten yet, I don't think. Um, but I know I can beat B C fairly easy. And um, it's really nice because you get a lot of XP. Um, I was doing this, I leveled up my heroes a couple times actually. 
or no, I actually just leveled up uh, Ninja. Um, but basically, you get a lot of XP from doing this. Um, I can go, we'll start B, and I'll talk while we're waiting for B to go. So this is B1. Fairly easy one right now. Um, but uh, basically, when each each time you beat a wave, you get a reward. Um, it could be gold, mana, or experience points, which would be distributed out through your five heroes. And it actually includes the garrison heroes too. So if you have people in or heroes in the garrisons, which I do, um, they're all level one right now actually, because I just put them in there. Um, I'll show you guys my garrisons in a second. It actually gives the XP to those guys as well. So if you want to hero up, uh, level up all your garrisons and your five heroes, you can do that. And if you guys just want to level up your garrisons and not your heroes, you can take off your heroes um, and just let your heroes and the garrisons go to work. Um, and there's levels those guys up as well. Or if you just want to concentrate on one hero like I was thinking about doing was doing that with Ninja. Um, if you take all the heroes out of the garrisons, take all your hero bases out, um, heroes off your hero bases except for one, and then all the XP that you get for those five rounds, or even if you don't beat it, go to that one hero and then the hero can level up pretty quickly because um, I think I got like 6,000 something in V5. Um, I guess we'll see at the end of this one how much uh, how much experience points I get. But um, if you guys do this, if you guys keep on top of this, and you guys play the Hero Monsters, like at least, I don't know, you get four tries, and then um, they refill every couple hours. So you probably get like eight tries in like a 12-hour period or so. And um, you get eight tries per um, day. So if you guys are on Castle Clash all day, you're just wait for your... Uh, um, talents or your things to refresh then you can do it. Um, the one problem that I have found with this is this I have to actually redesign my base a little bit because um, this happens sometimes not with the hero specifically but sometimes like an archer or something it's left out out here and he's hitting at the wall like he, there's one archer left hitting the wall out here a level even at this level 8 wall um, and my archer towers or um, wizard towers aren't able to hit him I'll lose the round and I'll lose all that stuff. Like this guy down here, he's gonna be down here hitting this wall, and if the two minutes are up after he's and he still hasn't gone by and I still haven't killed him, I lose. So that's the one problem I have. I have to redesign uh, my defenses a little bit, I think. But I want to level up my walls first. That's what I'm trying to actually do right now, um, because I have to level up my walls and defenses pretty quick, pretty, um, pretty, pretty quickly here, so I can um, try to get farther in this. Here monsters mode. Um, oh, there's still. Oh, see, yes, this is the yeah, see, here we go. This is what exactly what I was talking about. I'm going to lose because of this. This is why I need to redesign my base a little bit to make sure my archer towers um, are able to hit them. Because now I'm going to lose here, and um, I won't be able to get the rewards for this. Because um, I mean, it's, I mean, it's going to go by, and I'm not going to get it at all. Um, so that sucks. So that that sucks too because then you waste you waste one of your chances. You only have four challenges before they have to refresh, and um, so it does suck. Um, <laughs> so I have to uh, try and do that. Hopefully, it doesn't go too badly here. But I want to see because I haven't gotten past C, and I want to see how hard it gets because I know um, a couple other people gotten pretty far look these guys top here these guys I know I've gotten this far this guys these guys make sense because they're top players and then San 7 he's gotten pretty far I think he's on F or E or he's on F I think now um, but I know I have to level up my archer towers or arrow towers I don't know why I call them arch towers for him <clears throat> arrow towers and I have to level them get these guys up I'm probably gonna try to get them all up to level 7 um, next after the walls so I want to upgrade all the walls to level 8 and then after the walls are upgraded, all the level eight, I'm probably gonna upgrade my defenses next. And then that way I can also work on the garrisons. Um, so if I actually go into garrisons, I'm gonna show you guys those as well. Um, so here he was, she was at level one, and now she's at level four. Um, so that I guess I could have showed you guys before and after pictures of the uh, thing here, but um, even the Triton. And the paladin too. The paladin that just got to he's level he was at level one too, and now they're at level four, and so it's nice because that way they can level up and upgrade your 
arrow tower to increase the range and some other stuff, especially with the wizard tower does the same thing. Um, each one does it, but I put one of the, I put one of each guy in there because I had uh, duplicates of all the guys. So um, I still have, I still need to get my fifth arrow or my fifth arrow tower, which I don't know what I'm going to get because my town hall is at level 15. Upgrading it to 16, still don't get it. So um, that sucks. But yeah, the other thing, down, the other downside is that you do have to wait for your uh, troops to train. So if they do die. Um, you will have to wait for them to retrain, but um, I'm going to work around my defenses a little more here and uh, Try to get it a little better so that way I can fend off these defense attacks a little better um, But I don't know how I'm going to do yet because my walls are at level one and when the walls are at level one It kind of is hard because if I get attacked by other players um, They can get through everything pretty quickly And it's a little easier and there, but if you get to the first, if you get to the fifth wave, I guess we can try it again. Um, if you actually do get to the fifth one, um, there's a dinosaur that comes at the end, and he's got a lot of health. Um, it's pretty hard to take that guy down as long as um, if everybody's shooting at him, you'll be able to take him down pretty quickly. Even if my, even though I don't have any um, griffins on my army camps, I should be able to beat it as long as these guys don't get trapped on the outside of these walls here. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to happen again. I have a feeling that um, there's going to be some air towers that are going to be on the outside here. Um, there we go. I got 8,000 gold for that one. Um, but if you actually do be able to beat this, you get 15 shards um, at the end for a B5. At the end of B5, you get 15 shards. A, I'm not too sure. And I guess we can go back and play A one more time. I'm sure you guys A. Now we should be able to beat that one pretty easily as long as the guys don't get stuck. But um, there is a hole right there, so that's good if they come from down here. But my problem is on this side. If they come on this side, though, my, my uh, wizard tower is on the outside, so that should be okay, hopefully. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we got stuck again. Those these guys are these guys are doing the same thing here. My arrow tower is not going to be able to reach it. Um, so I'm gonna have to probably go redesign my base. So after this video, I'm probably gonna do that, and then uh, make another video in a couple days or so. I'm um, showing you guys that because these guys need to be able to hit them. And doing it this way is a little tough. Um, at least this arrow tower actually reaches this far. So these guys are still hitting that wall. Um, I don't know why. There's a couple other guys over here shooting at that too. Um, but probably not going to win this one either. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to fail this one too. There goes two of my chances, but I'm not going to play another one until I redesign my base a little bit here. Probably, even though I have level 1 walls, um, I'm going to redesign it a little bit better. Um, I really want to upgrade my town hall though. really want to. Because I want to get that thing started. Because we have to buy the gold first, which is 616,000. Um, and we need... How much do we need? 160,000. So we even have to upgrade some of my um, gold vaults too. I actually upgraded this gold vault to level 11. I'm trying to get it up. To, uh, I'm trying to catch it up with these guys because these are guys are all far ahead. 15, 13, and 14, I think. Or 15, yeah, 15, 13, 14. Um, I gotta ch get those guys up. But I am getting closer to getting Spirit Mage. Um, I still need $25,000 or 25,000 more gems. So never mind. So that's basically a hundred dollars plus some another five thousand. So and like a hundred fifty dollars worth of gems before I get spirit mage, and that will be a good addition. And then that way, all that all I'll need left is uh, Atlanticor, Snowzilla, Pumpkin Duke. I don't know if you can still get Pumpkin Duke anymore. That's one thing I do not know because I haven't gotten her gotten Pumpkin Duke yet. Um, it would have been nice to have him though. Um, but yeah. So anyways, that's a new that is the new uh, uh, mode. Again, some of these people have um, hacked and stuff, but um, they can look at the rank by this way too. And I think that's all that the update, um, all the only updates that came out for this was for that. I wanted to make sure I start training some more weapons here. Um, but yeah, while it's gone though, I actually did upgrade this army camp up to level 16. So I have um, three level 15 army camps and then one level 16. Army camp, and even though if I upgrade to level 17, it still doesn't change what it looks like, which is disappointing. But 
Um, I wish I wish these changed more often or something, but that's okay. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, I'm pretty sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, I'm gonna redesign my base, and in a day or two, not tomorrow, probably a couple days. Um, I'll have another video, hopefully, another defense setup will be a little better in order here. Um, but the good thing, I mean, it would be nice if I had this upgraded all the way first, so that way I can put everything down I have, so I can just design my base that way first, but first I'd have to upgrade these gold vaults pretty far here. Um, unless you can buy, unless you can start upgrading it without having the gold upgraded. Yeah, I don't have any, you know. But yeah, so anyways, um, I'll figure that out. I might actually go buy some gems, even if I don't um, even if it tells me I can't, I might just, um, start upgrading some of these as well. Eh, that's a lot of gems, though. Lots of gems, lots of gems. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, that's it for this video, I guess, until I redesign my base. I guess I should have done that ahead of time, but again, vacation, long drive back and stuff, but... Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and, um, be sure to, um, go check out this Here Be Monsters mode. It's very interesting, and it's actually got a purpose. The shards have a purpose now. And that's the other thing I want to talk about, too, is a clan, too. Um, I actually have to accept some more people, and I think I kick some more people. And I have, like, a lot of applications I have to go through, so I don't know how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do this, but, um, I kicked some people out that weren't donating. Um, but now there's definitely no excuse to be able to not donate shards, because uh, right now I changed the rule, because I level, leveled up the guild so that 40 people could be in, um, in here now and to um and 40 people distributed um evenly to be able to upgrade to the next guild guild three which is 4800 shards um i the, the math uh that divided by 40 is 120 um so everybody has to at least donate 80 to stay in the guild and then 120 um would be nice to help get to the um next guild um level and I have um, some people contacting me saying they're trying to go for, um, trying to get enough shards to get some guys. So they're donating some, but not a lot. But, um, there's definitely no excuse not to donate shards anymore, especially with this new mode. Um, having that B, B, you get 15 shards. And if you do that four times in a row, that's 15 times four is like, what, 60? Mm hmm so there's definitely no excuse to um, um, lost my train of thought here. Donate, donate shards for sure because 15 times four, man, that's that's yeah, 60 shards. Come on now. Um, so if you guys can't donate 60 shards from doing this four times in a row in one day, um, yeah, then that's crazy because you don't have to do that two times. I mean, you could do this in one day if you played eight times in one day. That'd be 120 shards right there. Um, if you did the B, if you just passed B, because um, that would be 15 times four, yeah, 60. As long as you actually can have a good defense set up to where they're actually gonna win. Um, but yes, yeah, so 15 times four, and if you do that eight times in one day, I mean, you you'll be good. You won't even have to bother donating until we level up the next one. Um, and if you guys aren't willing to do that, then sorry, you're gonna be kicked because there's no excuse now. There's definitely no excuse to not be able to donate shards after this update. Because um, the shards actually have more of a purpose now. Because I know in the beginning um, it was very hard to get shards. And um, I thought it was impossible to get some of these legendary heroes now. It's definitely becoming a lot easier with this new um, this new mode. Plus the 30 shards a day if you want to spend 2 bucks a day. Which I've been doing for a little bit. Um, so yeah, if you guys aren't willing to do that, then you're going to be kicked. So... If you guys are in the guild, if you guys are in the guild and you're watching this video, make sure you go and donate some because I'm going to kick the rest of the people that aren't doing that, which will be um, all these 40s down here, except for minus SPR, and I got your message because you're trying to get a uh, guy here, um, but this guy, um, that guy in the last one, um, Vital, Clasher, Monon, um, all these guys below 80 pretty much. If you guys if you're below 80 and you're in my guild, um you're gonna be kicked in a couple days or so. Um because there's no excuse now. Um but yeah, so anyways, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um hope you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to go enjoy the um, new mode 
And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, and with my new base design, hopefully we'll be able to um, get past B a little easier there. So I can level it up. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Dale, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.